Okay. Let me explain to you how I test a school bus as a QA engineer. I plan static testing, functional and non-functional testings respectively. Once I am done with static testing by reviewing the requirements and design documentations in the test plan, and then I continue with functional testing, including positive and negative test cases. Let me start with implementing positive test cases. I verify the school bus capacity if it can accommodate the expected number of students and can transport them safely. I check that each seat has a working seat belt and that it can be easily fastened and unfastened. I ensure that the doors like main entry door and emergency exit door open and close smoothly without any issues. And I test the horn and ensure that it is audible and working as expected. I verify that the bus is able to move forward and backward smoothly without any jerks or sudden stops. I test the heating and air conditioning systems and ensure that they are functioning properly. I check that windshield wipers and washers are functioning properly. I verify that the bus is able to accelerate and brake smoothly without any sudden jolts or jerks. I check the mirrors to ensure that they are adjusted properly and provide clear visibility. And I ensure that all emergency exits are in good working condition and can be quickly opened in the event of any emergency. I verify that all bus lights and signals, including turn signals and brake lights, lights are working correctly and are visible from a distance. I test that the brakes on the bus are functioning correctly and can bring the bus to a complete stop quickly if needed. After positive test cases, now let me go on with negative test cases. I test what happens if the bus is overcrowded and there are more students than the bus can safely transport. So the bus, so the bus should not allow this situation to occur and the driver should not be able to drive the bus if it is overcrowded. And another te negative test case is I test what happens if one or more of the seat belts are faulty and cannot be fastened correctly. So the bus should not be allowed to operate until the faulty seat belts have been repaired. I test what happens if one or more of the emergency exits are blocked or cannot be opened. So the bus should not be allowed to operate until the blocked exits have been cleared or repaired. I test what happens if one or more of the bus lights or signals are malfunctioning or not visible. So the bus should not be allowed to operate until the multifunctioning lights or signals have been repaired. And another negative test case is about I test what happens if the bus brakes are not working correctly and cannot bring the bus to a complete stop quickly. So the bus should not be allowed to, op to operate until the brakes have been repaired. And also I attempt to start the bus with a dead battery. Once I am done with functional testing, including positive and negative test cases, and then I go on with performance testing. There is non-functional test cases to make sure how the system behaves. Now, let's start then with performance testing. I test the bus in different weather conditions to ensure that it can operate safely in all conditions. I verify the bus has regular maintenance and inspection schedules and that all necessary repairs are carried out in a timely manner. I check that the bus is equipped with communication devices to allow for timely communication with the school and emergency services. 
I test the bus's fuel efficiency to ensure that it is operating within acceptable limits. And another performance test is about, I check that the bus can meet the demands of the school's transportation needs, including its route and the number of students being transported. I verify that the bus has the necessary speed and acceleration capabilities to operate safely on the roads. I test the accessibility of the bus for students with disabilities, including the presence of a wheelchair, lift, and proper secure, secure devices. I verify that the noise level inside the bus is within acceptable limits and that the windows and ventilation systems are working properly. And another performance test is about, I verify that the bus meets all safety regulations, including those for fire extinguishers, reflectors, and lighting. I confirm that the driver has all necessary licenses and certifications and that they have undergone the required training. I think that's all about how to test the school bus, including static, functional and performance test cases. Thank you so much.